It's day 45 off grid. No power. No internet. No coffee, smoothies, or hair straightener. You know, the essentials. How many more days are we gonna go? What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm delirious because it's cold, so I don't know how to say hello. Yeah. So it, let's just start. Yeah, it's it's pretty pretty chilly today. There's a there's been a cold front come through, and uh, we're not used to this kind of weather. We're we're acclimated to Florida weather. We grew up there, so it, it's it's cold for us. It's like in the 40s somewhere. Um, and very, very windy. Like, Florida doesn't get this windy unless it's a hurricane going yeah. on. I'm like a Florida peacock. And this weather is trying to make me like an Arctic polar bear. A big old peacock. You just gotta let me fly. <laughs> Today we are working on mounting, finishing mounting everything up here. So, the inverter is already kind of in place and so is the charge controller if you can see right there she's hiding the inverter uh, you can see it right <laughs> there so and of course the batteries are mounted so everything's uh so we'll have all that mounted today and possibly start on wiring the or wiring like the junction box or not the junction box the breaker box and cut off switch and stuff like that as long as the frost doesn't kill us first <laughs> it's not really frost it's just it's really there, there's no frost you know, by weekend's end we can power i mean as long as the i don't know why i'm popping my head all right well uh we don't want to scare our, <laughs> our viewers off um, we're getting shed fever. <clears throat> so we're going to finish that stuff up. Is that jacket laying on her nose? Should I tell her? Nah. So hopefully today. And then we also need to address the leak in the roof that you guys saw. Yeah. I don't know if we showed them that yet. <laughs> that I guess we'll, yeah. go, I guess we'll go to that video <laughs> right now. Well, we came home to uh, our hut and we noticed the floor was all wet, like, because it just started downpouring. Like, we've, we've had it rain here a couple of times, but not quite like this. It, it like, it was pouring. And we came in and the floor was wet. We're like, oh no, there's a leak somewhere. There is. It slowed, the rain slowed down, so it's not leaking right now. But you can see it dripping right there so now we set up a bucket <laughs> until until the morning where i can get up there and check out see what's leaking uh replace any old fasteners up there that and probably silicone and stuff. is this real life right now we're yeah. sleeping in a little hippie hut with a bucket that's catching a leak <laughs> this I'm doesn't even feel real. Land on the bed. Right on our bed. And we come home to a soaking wet bed. I'm I'm just glad that. <laughs> we come back, poor bears on our bed seeking higher ground. <laughs> you know what I wish I had right now? What do you wish you had? <laughs> my Snuggie. Oh my god. If I had to give it away. <laughs> No power, no internet, 
no coffee, smoothies, or hair straightener. You know, the essentials. How many more days are we gonna go? Probably another 45 at this rate. Another 45. <laughs> so what's gonna run and connect to what? So up there we have our charge controller. Yeah, the, from right here, if you can see, this pipe comes in from the outside, from the solar panels. It, it's buried underground, uh, two feet. Comes up, over, comes into the charge controller. And then from the charge controller, I'm gonna have a uh, pipe come out, go into the junction box. Into the junction box, it'll distribute uh, the voltage um, down into the uh, batteries. And then from the batteries, it can go back to the junction box, into the inverter. The inverter does its thing. Um, then it comes, I'll have a connection on the bottom come out I'll have a AC disconnect right here just a 60 amp uh, disconnect so this thing only puts out 4,000 watts um, so I'll have a 60 amp disconnect and then I'll have a small breaker panel which will uh, distribute the all the power to in here and future into the shop and also I'll have a uh, power that goes, that will, I'll have another PVC system that will go down underground and into the shipping containers. So. Sounds like you got quite a bit to do, huh? We're those people right now that write ourselves little notes to stay motivated. <laughs> this is our current one. Just your little daily dose of inspiration. All right. To show you guys how I'm making my jumpers for my battery, because all I'm doing with those batteries are running them in parallel, which just means I'm running all the positives together and all the negatives together, which just make it one giant battery, essentially. All the same voltage, so they'll all be roughly 60 volts, but it'll have uh, like 400 amp hours or something like that at 60 volts. So the jumpers, all I did was uh, cut some two gauge wire, cut it, strip the insulation off the end, and then put this copper uh, connector on and then put some heat shrink over it or crimped it down excuse me i crimped it on and then uh put some heat shrink over it i'll go ahead and show you guys that that little process so just take this So strips maybe half of an inch off and then I have these copper lugs and then I'm just going to fit it on there. And then take Nice little, little crimp. Let's see if it, yeah, it won't, won't focus in, but it's nice and crimped. Uh, won't be able to get that off. So then I'll just take some, 
uh, heat shrink, uh, three quarter inch, I believe it is, heat shrink, and uh, apply it to that connector. And the finished product roughly looks like this. I have to bend the ends in just so I can get the, uh, so it fits on the terminal of these batteries. So the uh, positive is the side without a fuse and negative is obviously the fuse size. So once I get this in, it'll look roughly like that. And I have to, the reason why I bend them in is so I can clear this plastic right here. much done as I would like um, between trying to video everything and I mean making sure triple checking everything that I have right so majority of this is wired up I mean I still gotta I made all my all my jumpers for the batteries this is obviously a negative but all those are made um, the all this is good from the inverter, uh, from the charge controller inverter. Everything's wired up. I have uh, I wired up this AC dis this 60 amp AC disconnect, and then uh, that'll go up to my breaker box, which I'll work on tomorrow. And uh, after I get the that wired up, I'll run one outlet for in here just for basic needs, but I don't think we'll really need more than one outlet in here. Uh, so bear with us, we, this is taking a, a slightly bit longer than I expected, but I mean, actually the entire project so far has taken a life <laughs> slightly longer than expected. This should be up and running here this week. So that's where we stand right now. And I would like to say this will be done tomorrow, but it'll probably be done three weeks from now. <laughs> No. No, not really, but it'll be this is literally all we're working on right now. Yeah, like this I is know. the priority. But you gotta take it slow because you know, we don't want Spencer to get electrocuted, so that's a priority. Yeah, death death or destruction of equipment is a thing I trying to avoid. Yeah, so no, so I think you're like, moving at a good pace. Yeah, so I'm like triple checking everything. Every wire, every connection, every how tight everything is. Oh.